right, time for my favourite part of the show. It's the quiz. Uh, and what a uh, quiz is going to be. This is a special, perhaps you'll enjoy this, given how optimistic you are about England. It is an England-Tunisia quiz. Not everything about, is about England and Tunisia, but there is an England versus Tunisia line running through this week's quiz. So without further ado, let's find out who will be today's quiz champion. Will it be Louch or will it be Dugan? Three rounds yeah. uh, of questions. Our first round, as it was on our last episode, is the one-two, where you're gonna, I'm going to ask a question. We're going to bounce back between you guys for <laughs> different answers until one of you gets the answer wrong. Each of these three questions in this round, the winner gets three points for each time they uh, manage to outlast their opponent. Okay? This is going to be terrible. All right. Mm. Question number one in today's one-two round. Can you name any African country that has played in a World Cup finals? What finals? Fin- as in the tournament. The tournament. Not the final. Yeah, who starts? Uh, Dugan, you can start. Nigeria. Nigeria, yes. Ghana. Ghana is correct. Senegal. Senegal is correct as well. Cameroon. Cameroon, yes. Egypt. Egypt, yes. South Africa. Yes. Morocco. Morocco, yes. And now it we gets had tricky. Tunisia. We have just had Tunisia. Yeah. Okay. Um, and now it gets tricky. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Depends how depends how good your knowledge is, doesn't it? Ivory Coast. Yes. Oh. Um. We had that one already. Um. Is it Ghana? We've had Ghana. Ghana. We've, we've had. had. No, From now on, I've given you one each. All you right, say one well, that's already fair, been said, fair. I'm counting that as a defeat. That's a fair game. Um, and also, there's a time limit here. Too. Yeah, I'm pretty, lo- I'm pretty, pretty lost, to, to be honest. Um, uh, Name a country. Let's go, Kenya. Kenya has never been no. in the World Cup. Uh, so that is three points to allow. Who, who, who are the rest the of them? I'll give you the full list, all right. Uh, Togo, Angola, Togo. Democratic Republic of Congo. Shoot. Senegal. Con- Congo made it in. Once, yeah. Senegal, <laughs> Egypt, South Africa. Oh, no, we had Senegal. Uh, Ivory yeah. Coast, Ghana, I'm giving you the full list. Oh, Ghana, right. Algeria, Morocco, oh, Algeria. Tunisia, yeah. Nigeria, Cameroon. Yeah, Algeria was the one. Uh, Nigeria? I, we said, I said, said Nigeria. Nigeria, but Nigeria. No, Algeria. Algeria, yeah. So there we are. All right. All righty. Uh, Question two of today's one two round with Lauch having a three points to zero lead. Um, <laughs> did you know that uh, Monday's game against Tunisia will actually be. Only the third time ever that these two teams have competed against each other. The last time was in Group G of the World Cup what? in Europe 20 years ago in 1998. No uh, and so, can you name any member of the England squad <laughs> in France 98? We will start with Lauch this time. Squad? Yeah, uh, squad. Shearer. Shearer is correct. Owen. Owen, yes. Sheringham. Yes. Beckham. Yes. Paul Ince. Yes. Gary Neville. Gary Neville, yes. Gareth Southgate. Gareth Southgate, yes. David Seaman. Yes. Um, uh, Paul Scholes. Yes. Paul Scholes scored in that game, in fact. He did. did he? Corker as well, it was. And it was on a Monday night. Yep, it was. Actually, it was afternoon. It was during school time. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I remember it well. Heskey. Emil Heskey, no. What? Yes! What? Too early. Come on! Too early for Heskey. Oh, he was no. just about doing it at Leicester then. Oh, jeez. Um, uh, so, who... Here's the list. Flowers, oh. Martin and Seaman as goalkeepers. Oh. There's Adams, Campbell, Ferdinand, Keown, Lasseau, Ferdinand Neville and Southgate. Graham Lasseau playing yeah. the back. Batty, Beckham, Ince, Robert Lee, Steve McManaman, Paul Scholes, Darren Anderton. Um, and then Les Ferdinand, Paul Merson, Owen Shearer, Sheringham. Paul Merson made that far the Medals for that team. Have you? Wow. I've got you know, the, the, um, the 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 Andy oh look at the album with the medals. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've got these things for them. The, 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 the <laughs> big head things. Uh, all right, so that's six um, nil out. I'm getting battered. You, you need uh, you're, going, you're going first this time. All right. Um, so <laughs> it doesn't help if the topic's need, not you, good. You can't leave round one nine nil <laughs> down. That's not a great situation to be in. Last question in today's one two round. Uh, can you name any World Cup host city from this decade? So that's any World Cup host city from South Africa, Brazil, or Russia. So Russia counts. Yeah, including yeah. Okay. Any yeah. from those three tournaments? Well, Do you Moscow you're going first. Moscow is indeed a host city. Kaliningrad. Kaliningrad. Oh, exactly yes. 
Um, Cape Town. Cape Town, yes. Um, Johannesburg. Johannesburg, yes. Rio de Janeiro. Yes. Um, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, yes. Um, St. Petersburg. Yes. Belo Horizonte. Yes. Strong choice, Manaus. Manaus, yes. It's where England played the first game. The, 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 the stadium that was like a, is now just a receptacle of bird shit. Yes. Was that Italy, that game, wasn't it? England, yeah. England, Italy, yeah. Where are they this year? Sorry. <laughs> Durban. Let's not get cocky. Durban. Uh, Durban's correct, yes. Uh, you said Johannesburg? We yes. have. We have said Johannesburg. That was a question. It wasn't his answer. So yeah, we'll we said it. Johannesburg. Um, oh, wow. I'm it's tricky now, though. I'm going to go for Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo has been said again. I'm not giving oh. it to you twice. Can I keep so. going? Go on, then. Port Elizabeth. Yes. Yeah, Port Elizabeth. Um, vi- vision. Uh, have I said Vision in Norfolk? What? Vizhny Novograd. Oh, Nizhny Nizh- 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 Novograd. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you haven't said Sochi. So- yeah, you haven't said yeah. Sochi. Sochi, Ekaterin... So I'll give you all of them. I'll just give you all of them. Yeah. Right, yeah. Johannesburg, Cape Town, Durban, Port Elizabeth, Nell Spruit, Poloquain, Blum- Bloemfontein, Rustenburg, Bloom Pretoria. Um, that's the South African ones. Then Brazil, Belo Horizonte, Brazilia. No one said that. Uh, Curiaba. Cui- yeah, Curitiba, <laughs> Curitiba, Fortaleza, Manaus, Natal... Uh, Porto Alegre, Recife, Rio de Janeiro, Salvador, Sao Paulo. That's Brazil. And then Kaliningrad, Kazan, Moscow, Nizhny Nov- Novogorod, uh, Rostov on Don, St. Petersburg, Samara, Saransk, Sochi, Volgograd, and Yekaterinburg, which is where the Iran game, or the Egypt game was. With the huge yeah. outdoors. <laughs> <stands>. <laughs> the, yeah. the stands, the, the temporary, temporary stands. When, you, when, when you're at the top, it looks like you're watching it through a TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. brilliant. Absolutely. <laughs> also, true. though, 9-0. 9-0. 9-0. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alright, yeah. now round two is a guest round. So we, we're having a different round two every quiz. Round one and three are the same each time. Uh, you'll like this. Right, right. Today's round two is called Footballer, Oligarch or Bond Villain. <laughs> and so I'm going to give you three Russian names. You have to tell me which of them is which. One of the three names will be a Bond Villain. One of them will be uh, from the list of top 25 Russian oligarchs as identified by the American government earlier this year. And one will <laughs> be why. a member of the 2018 Russia squad. <laughs> Do you understand the rules? Three points each time you get one right, you're going to have three questions each. Okay. Okay. Without well, you in the lead, you're going to go first. So, the three names for you are Andrei Kozitsin, Alexander Samedov, and Aristotle Christatos. So I'll give you the last names again. Kozitsin, Samadov, and Christatos. Which one? So let's start with... Sam- Samadov, bomb villain. Yep. Okay. Christatov, footballer. Mm-hmm. And what was the other one? Kozitsin. Kozitsin, oligarch. Is wrong. Kozitsin is correct. He is worth $4.8 billion. Uh, manages uh, a copper producing company in Russia. Um, very legit. Samadov, Alexander Samadov plays for Spartak Moscow as a right sided um, <laughs> right back, like right wing back. Uh, and Aristotle Christatos is a uh, Bond villain. He's a drug smuggler, smuggler and Soviet Should agent. Known with the who first was, name. Uh, the shot by Bond. Now, this is from one of the books. Oh, from but... A short story called Risico. Oh, there yeah. we are. So no points His for you. His first out. name was Aristotle. Okay, yeah. your first question oh, yeah. in this round. Yep. Here are your three names, Dugan. Victor Zokas. Alicia, oh sorry, Alicia Usmanov and Yuri oh. Zhirkov. Just give him an open goal. <laughs> Victor Zokas, Alicia Usmanov. Well, Usmanov is the other guy. And Yuri Zhirkov, okay. Then. Zhirkov is the footballer. Yeah. And then the, the other one's the bond. What? Is correct. This is... <laughs> uh, Zhirkov plays for Zenit St. Petersburg, yep. midfielder. Uh, Usmanov is, uh, is worth 16 billion. He was an early investor in Facebook and, of course, owns shares in Arsenal. Yep. And Zokas, uh, Zokas, however you say it, was the guy played by Robert Carlyle in The World uh, Is Not Enough, okay. one of the Piers Brosnan Bond films. Uh, he wanted to detonate a nuclear submarine in the waters of Istanbul, uh, mm. but he died. He was impaled by a plutonium rod and shot out of oh, the sub's reactor core <laughs> at high speed by James Bond. What way to go? With eh? the half Fantastic. Here we are. 
female lead, wasn't it? What are you mumbling about? She had like an earring that was half her ear, didn't she? The Ta- world is oh, not God. enough. <laughs> Let's move on quickly. Well, that's your second question. It's 9-3 now. Coming back into it. Come on. Um, here's your three names. With the name Ready? Gone. Um, Fyodor, or like, Fyodor Kudryashov. Kudryashov. Konstantin Nikolaevich Chernov. And Dmitry Kamenshik. Okay, so how come he so, had two immediately <laughs> obvious answers? You're winning. How can you be a conspiracy theorist about a competition you're winning? Conspiracy theorist. This is like when Fake Trump news. complained about the votes of the election he won. <laughs> um, Kudryashov, Chernov, Kamenshik. So the first one is the bomb villain. Okay. The second one's the oligarch, third one's the one. All three of those are completely wrong. Um, Kudryashov is a defender for Rubin Kazan in um, the Russian League. He is a footballer. Chernov is a Bond villain um, from a book, No Deals, Mr. Bond. He's a hired assassin who tries to kill everyone from a botched espionage mission. And Kamenshik is a billionaire. He owns uh, Moscow's Domodedovo Airport. Uh, was briefly held responsible for a 2011 terrorist attack at his own airport and the crimi- a criminal case was opened against him but later dropped. Shock. There we are. No points for you again, Lauch. You're not very good at this round. Um, Dugan, mm-hmm. your second Give question. Names. Three names. Iskander Makhmudov, Yevgeny Yuskovich and Andrei Semyonov. So the, the last names again. Makhmudov, Yuskovich, Semyonov. I'm going to go oligarch, Bond villain, football player, in that order. Is correct. Yes! Makhmudov is worth $7.2 billion. Spain filed money laundering charges against him in 2009 <laughs> and later handed the case over to Russian authorities who quietly what? dropped it. Yeah, it's shock. Uh, Yuskovich is the villain from The Man for, from Barbarossa, another Bond novel. Uh, tried to supply Iraq with nuclear weapons, but his ship was blown up and he died. Yeah. Uh, and Semyonov is a defender for Ak- Akmat Grozny and plays in the Russian World Cup squad. 9 6. So Dugan takes Bring the last round. Back. The comeback is on. Is there another one of these? One more each. There's three more. Oh, for God's you, sake. You should be pleased there's another one. It's Novichok, baby. Redeem it? yourself. <laughs> All right, here's your last one, Lounge. Try and get this one Great. right at least. Thanks. Um, Vladimir Gabulov. Okay, never heard of him. Oleg Deripaska. Oh, yep, from the other. And Konstantin Romanos. No. So, Gabulov, Deripaska, Romanos. Ah, so we're into the land of complete luck once again. Okay. Go on then. Um, you, want the, you want the names one more time? Which one? Gabulov is what? Brexit. Um, <laughs> is what? Brexit. <laughs> is Brexit. Does it make sense? No, it's the oligarch. Okay. Uh, the footballer and then the bomber. Yeah, you're wrong. Yeah. Gabalov is um, the goalkeeper for Bruges, plays in the Russian oh. team. Uh, Derry Pasca is uh, uh, oligarch who's employed Paul Manafort, the former campaign manager. But he's in jail for, at the moment uh, as well. Trump. Uh, is he in jail? Okay. Yep. And uh, Romanos is from The Facts of Death, a Bond novel who tried to instigate a war between Greece and Turkey by firing a nuclear Have missile read into those Turkey. Novels? All of them. Uh, last question, Dugan. You can tie this up here. Uh, um, nine points all. If you get this Literally, one right. Literally, if you. Last question of the round. Here it is. Three names for you. Koskov. Sorry, Georgi Koskov, Alexei Miranchuk, and Dmitry Rybolovlev. Georgi mm-hmm. Koskov, Alexei Miranchuk, Dmitry Rybolovlev. Uh, we have Bond football oligarch. Is correct. Yes! Unbelievably. Uh, that is an unbelievable round from Alex Dugan. Georgi Koskov was in the film The Living Daylights. He wanted to supply the Soviets with weapons for their continuing invasion of Afghanistan, <laughs> the little scamp. Uh, Alexei Miranchuk is a forward, plays for Lokomotiv Moscow and is in the Russian squad. And uh, Rybolovlev is an oligarch. Uh, he's worth $7.4 billion. He owns Worsh. Donald Trump's former ma- former mansion in, ba- in Palm Beach and also owns AS Monaco. Ah, there we are. After round two, unbelievably... The luck round. What a knife edge. Uh, it is 9-all from a 9-0 <laughs> lead. 
So the skill round <laughs> was just, and that was. <laughs> you are such a grump. I'm funny really that, cool. funny that. Right. I bet he's bet on England to get out of the group stage as well. Well, I hope he's right. <laughs> Come anyway. on. Right, last round, the quick fire round. You are going to get 60 seconds each. I will ask you uh, as many questions as we can get into that time. And then uh, whoever has the most points at the end is victorious. Can we pass? It is very easy to uh, to tell the scores at the moment. You can pass if you want. Yeah, of course that, you can. Is that mastermind? Uh, it is a draw. So this is a, a straight shootout. Winner of this round wins the quiz. Here we go. Uh, who are we going to do first? Since you're complaining, I'll let you choose. Do you want to go first or second? I'll go second. All right. Alex, do. I'm going to get my stopwatch here. How long do uh, I get? You get 60 seconds. The clock will start after I finish reading my first question. Are you ready? Yep. Here we go with your quick fire round for today. Who won the Golden Ball Award for best player at the 2010 World Cup? Uh, Messi. No, Diego Forlan. For which UK broadcaster is Didier Drogba serving BBC. as a pundit? Yes, it's BBC. Uh, when was the last time before 2018 that Italy did not qualify for a World Cup? Uh, 68. No, it's 1958. Uh, Algeria and which other nation borders Tunisia? Morocco. No, it's Libya. Which Spanish club has been managed by Tony Adams? Uh, Valencia. No, Granada. How many World Cup finals have gone to a penalty shootout? Three. Two. Oh. Which of these teams was not in England and Tunisia's group in 1998? Romania, Bulgaria, Colombia. Bulgaria. Bulgaria is correct. True or false? Luke Skywalker's desert home in Star Wars was filmed in Tunisia. True. That is true. Uh, Zabi Varka, this year's World Cup mascot, is what kind of animal? A uh, dog. No, he's a wolf. Which oh. England English footballer played the part of Terry Brady in the 1981 film Escape to Victory? Uh, no idea. Pass. That was Bobby Moore, and your time is up. Ah. Uh, a slightly disappointing quickfire round there, dude. And it's sort of be said three, three points. points your score, mm. uh, which means you end today on a score of twelve. 12. We got this, Putin. Three to tie. We got this, mate. <laughs> three to tie. Four to oh, win. That is Crouch. a fucking wolf from the. Yeah, that is the mascot. The mascot for this year's World Cup is sitting right next to Alex Dugan. Under Pete. Is that still Keegan? Got, oh, that's that Kevin Keegan. Keegan's Legend. autobiography. Legend. I didn't want to look at Keegan. Kevin that's Keegan. why. Anyway, focus that. Keegan. Focus. Four points to win this. Here we go. Keegan. One minute starts after I finish your first question. Here we go. Who won the Golden Ball Award for Best Player at the 2014 World Cup? Neymar. No, it's Lionel Messi. For which UK broadcaster is Pablo Zabaleta serving as a pundit during the World Cup? ITV. No, BBC. When was the last time prior to 2018 that the Netherlands failed to qualify for the World Cup? 94. 2002. Costa Rica and which other nation borders Panama? Um, Nicaragua. Colombia. Which Spanish club was, has been managed by Gary Neville? Valencia. Yes. How many World Cup finals have featured seven or more goals? Uh, ten. One. No. Uh, which of these seven teams, or more goals in ten? Sorry, carry on. And which of these teams uh, was in England's World Cup 2002 group? Sweden, Denmark, or Netherlands? Uh, Sweden. Sweden's correct. Yeah. True or false? The scenes in Raiders of the Lost Ark that are set in Egypt were actually filmed in Tunisia. True. That is true. Uh, Fileco, the mascot at the 2014 World Cup was what kind of animal? The clock has finished, so that is your last question. I'll let you answer that question. You are on three points, so this is either Say a again. tie or to win it. Fuleko, the mascot at the 2014 World Cup, was what kind of animal? This is it for the win. There's a time limit like here, It's like a last minute penalty. There's a, there's a time limit here, Dave. A dog. He was an armadillo. <laughs> There's no way to Which that. means I'm it's afraid Christoph. to tell you it is twelve points all, which means we're going to a tie break. Come on for today's winner. Gentlemen, can you take out if you've got your phones? Yep. Alright. I'm gonna give you a, so that one of you doesn't get the chance to answer first, and then the other one can just change their answer accordingly. I'm gonna ask you to write your answers to this somewhere on a phone, on your notes or something, okay? Or in a text message so I can see it. Yep. All right, the question is, and the, whoever is closest to the correct answer will be the winner of today's quiz. What is the capacity of Luzhniki Stadium, the venue for this year's World Cup final? What is 
the capacity of Luz Niki Stadium, the venue of this year's World Cup final. Whoever is closest to the exact number will be the winner. It's the equivalent of a penalty shootout in the quiz. Let's hear it. You finished, Louch? Yeah. All right, put your finger down from your pad so you can't change it. I know what you're like. Dugan, go first. 74,861. 74,861. And 81,242. So you've said 81,000. The correct answer is 78,011, which means just <sighs> Alex Louch you... is the winner yes! of this week, of this episode's <laughs> quiz. After all that moaning, it was one digit away. Ridiculous. Just clear. Nine points points clear. Shake the man's hand. Yeah. Cheers. Fuck you. Louch Cheers. versus Dugan ends in a victory for Alex Louch. We'll you can't glory hunt this quiz. <laughs> we'll have another quiz. United. For all right. You won. Yeah, 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 Be yeah. Graceful, yeah, yeah, yeah. gracious. Yeah. That's the word. Uh, congratulations to both of you. A very hard fought yeah, quiz. Awesome. That completes today's quiz. Uh, we'll be back with more from Armchair Fancast after this. Thank you.